How to improve your self-worth by forgiving yourself. Hello, my beautiful sisters, and welcome back to another video about self-worth. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how forgiving yourself can improve your self-worth. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Rose Jones and I'm a survivor of domestic violence, childhood trauma, and self-hate. And I am currently battling PTSD while also being the owner of Let Rose Speak, but I'm not allowing any of that to define me. Instead, I'm using it to help other women who may have experienced the same thing or who may be going through it right now. My goal for this page is to help women heal so they can become unstoppable, live life on their own terms, and most importantly, know that they are loved. If this is the type of support that you are looking for, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification. Now, let's talk about today's topic, how forgiving yourself can improve your self-worth. But let's first talk about what really self-worth is. Self-worth is to recognize the worth of oneself. It is knowing that you are significant. It is knowing that you are valuable and deserving of all your desires. It is having confidence in yourself and feeling good about yourself. It is knowing that you are worthy. When you lack self-worth, you may stop valuing yourself. And that causes you to have low self-esteem, lack of confidence, and in may do things you may do things that result in you self-sabotaging yourself you start to question yourself and your decisions looking for outside validation and approval now let's talk about the foundation of self-worth no first let's establish the foundation of self-worth when we discuss self-worth we are discussing something that originated from within you however i don't believe many of us were raised to feel that that was something that we inherited. Many of us were raised to believe that it was something that we had to earn or attain. But that is not true at all. Not true. These are some of the common limited beliefs that we were taught as children to determine our worth. First, your image, how you appear. Perhaps you were learned you were taught that if you appear a certain name, you are worthy, you are good enough, if you are slim, or if you wear a specific type of clothes, if you have a specific skin color. Another one is your knowledge. You may have learned as a child that if you were smart enough, you were good enough. If you may have learned that your value is based on your grades, your exam, your scores, how quickly you can learn your timetables, how productive you are. You have learned if you are productive, you are good enough. If you are a hard worker who does a lot as an adult with this underlying belief, you may be someone who overwork and neglect your self-care. Your success is another one. You may think that if you have a lot of friends or receive a lot of awards, you are adequate. I'm sure you can think of a few more outside these four. I mentioned with all of these beliefs we acquire as children, it's not any surprise that many of us struggle with our self-worth as adults. Years of conditioning must be re repaired and relearned. So let's do that together, sisters. Let's do it together. One of the major things that helped me improve my self-worth is working on forgiving myself. Yes, forgiveness is a terrific place to start, whether it's forgiving yourself for believing you weren't enough or forgiving your parents or forever making you feel that way. You might find yourself clinging to the past out of fear or letting go. However, there is a sense of liberation that comes when letting go of the past. Let's try a little exercise that can help you forgive yourself. Take out your journal and write this following question. Who must I forgive for making me feel inadequate just as I am? Why is it necessary for me to forgive myself for holding on to this past belief? What can I do to let go of the past? These are a few questions I want you to ask yourself 
to help start the process of forgiving yourself. I want you to also understand that self-forgiveness is not about avoiding or neglecting yourself of the responsibilities, neither is it a weakness. The act of forgiveness, whether for yourself or someone does not apply that you approve of the action. Forgiveness apply that you accept the behavior, accept what happened and are willing to go on with your life without obsessing over a situation that cannot be changed. Forgive yourself requires more than simply letting go of the past and moving forward. It's about accepting what has happened and being kind to yourself. The first step in self-forgiveness is to confront what you have done or what has happened to you. It also can be the most challenging step. If you've been making excuses and or explaining your actions to make them appear appropriate or acceptable, it's time to face the truth and acknowledge what you have done. By accepting responsibilities for your actions that have harmed others, now let's restore trust and try to repair the damage first. I want you to apologize to yourself the same that you would do or need for someone to apologize to you when you feel wrong. You need to give that to yourself. Making apologies is crucial element of forgiveness. Forgiving yourself is more likely to stick when you feel like you have earned it. Just as you might not forgive someone else until they have made it up to you in some way because it helps you feel better. It You feel valued. It helps you express empathy towards other people and yourself and helps you get a deeper understanding of what just went wrong. And it helps you validate your feelings. Secondly, I want you to take action to try to fix your wrong. Doing this can help show yourself that you can show up when you need it. And you can show other people that you have learned from your mistakes. Third, try to focus on renewal. Concentrate on renewal. I need you to understand that everyone makes mistakes and has things they are sorry about or regret. By forgiving yourself frequently helps you learn and grow as a person. But to do so, you must first understand why you act that way and what you did and why you feel guilty, what steps you can take to avoid repeating the same mistakes in the future. You made a mistake, but as long as, as long as you turned it into a learning experience that will be help that will help you make better decisions in the future, it's okay. These things can help you learn how to forgive yourself slowly as you start to accept your mistakes and stop holding onto your past, you will realize that you are worthy. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of respect and you are worthy of everything that you want. Together, we can work towards forgiving yourself and improving your self-worth, sister. If you would like to get more help and get on the journey of self-healing together, I want you to check out I Need Motivation. This is a self help site. This can this has all types of courses that can help you with trust issues, help you women that's stuck in abusive relationship. It can help you deal with grief. It can help you deal with fear. It can help improve your listening skills. It can help you improve negative self-talk and it can help you forgive yourself. And it has so many more courses. The best part about this these courses is that they're all just $19.99 each. So if you are serious about wanted to change your life or want to learn more about how to improve your self-worth, then click the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more videos. And thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Until then, remember you are worthy, my sister.